All right, what's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a fantastic day, an absolutely amazing day. The first webinar with Dancers Bootcamp Online. This is a great day. And I want to start with first of all saying thank you. Thank you all for being here. This is, uh, again, uh, it's, uh, it's a huge pleasure of mine to be able to run this challenge. And the response in the group is absolutely incredible. I get extremely happy when I'm logging on myself and I'm seeing all of the people who are um, engaging in the group, who are supporting each other. Um, the more, again, the more you engage in the group, the more you as a person are gonna get out from it. Like each other's photos. If you have any questions, ask them. Don't feel that you're lost. I'm gonna answer. Other people who have maybe more experience in that particular field will help you. Whatever it is that are bothering your mind about uh, training, nutrition, just meal planning whatever it may be do not be scared of sharing um like each other's photos i swear like each other's photos because the more you engage in the group the more you are going to get out of it it's that simple it's really that simple if you keep watching you're paying attention to others use what you're seeing inside of the group the accountability selfie it's there for a reason get to know each other and we're gonna we have 25 days together left what is it 24 days together even with each other left you're gonna see a lot of selfies of these people get to know this individual all right but we are today gonna to jump off with the uh, 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 we're gonna start with something i call the wins of the week and the wins of the weeks are something that is extremely easy everybody because we're not that many people at the moment right now everybody's gonna tell me one win and that win can be that you are starting the 30-day fat loss or 30-day body transformation challenge you stretched extra that much this morning you did x y or z something simple or something big any win all right that's what i want today and I'm gonna go with from the list from top to bottom. So I'm gonna unmute you. You're gonna answer really fast. Then we move on to the next one. All right? Any questions throughout this night? Because we have a lot of questions I want to run over today. All right, um, Mirka, I see you, sis. You're unmuted. What's your win for this week? Um, today in a dance class, the teacher told me that she liked how full cool out I was. Round of applause for that. That's awesome. Congratulations, Sham. Congratulations. That small things, big things, whatever it may be. That makes me super happy. I'm glad to hear it. Congratulations. Natania, you yeah. up next is what's your win for this week? Conclusion, I can alert. No, Natania. Alright, busy. On to the next one. Robin Freding. Talk to us, champ. What's your win for this week? You are unmuted. I think it was yesterday when I was at my floorball practice, uh, right after the stretching class yesterday. I felt really good and was one of my best trainings this season, actually. After the after doing the stretching? Yeah, it was really good. Awesome, man. I'm happy for you. I'm glad it's working out. I'm really glad it's working out. That's a round of applause for, for Robin. God damn it. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations, brother. Uh, 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 Thomas, Champ, Champ, talk to us. Hi, Sebastian. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, very perfect. Okay, well, we have two wins, one for Melly and one for myself. My win is that uh, since I started, I've already lost one kilo. Don't know who for that. That makes me happy to hear, Champ. Are you, fa are you fasting also? <laughs> uh, yes, we are. That's why we're eating right now, because otherwise it's getting too late. To perfect, perfect. Let's get it. And the other win was the other win, Melanie. Yeah, well, you heard my win already. It was my dance with Koke that I survived oh, at the awesome. Bachata Extreme, organized by Casey. That makes me happy to hear. Also, <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. That's two huge win. Round of applause for this power couple, everybody. That's awesome. Uh, 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 we keep moving down the list. Uh, 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 user, user one, we don't know your name. 
but speak out loud and what's your win and tell us your name also <laughs> who are we talking to oh it's just me <laughs> uh it's daga ah daga. nice uh i don't even know how i put my username here don't worry about it i'm dagmara um yeah so i think my win for this week is i'm just proud that i managed to work out every day and uh i kept uh fasting every day so i'm only keeping the window to like eight seven hours Top. congratulations Shant. that's awesome good job good job good job good job where are you based uh, manchester ah nice 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 i'm gonna put you on mute that's a huge win congratulations Mm -mm -mm. Boom, we have one more. Dave Glad, where are you at? Let me see if I can unmute you. Dave Glad, I'm here. talk to us, champ. Thank you so much. Sorry for my bad uh, video here, but I'm in Kenya and it's very dark in my room, even though I have all lights on. So, uh, <laughs> my biggest win for this yeah, week yeah, yeah. that even though resources and uh, a lot of excuses could have been made from my side, I have still made my way to the rooftop here if it was early morning or or late after work i've been uh, i've been really like staying on track with my training i've been doing the challenge and i've been uh, it's been it's been tough especially when it's really really hot also that could also be an excuse but and also another thing that have been a little bit it's not tough but it's it's been uh, since i've been doing all my trainings on like public grounds so to say there's always been people around me watching me train which have been kind of weird you know what i mean but people just fascinated like what is this white dude doing here training on our rooftop you know I mean? like, <laughs> i've been on three i've been on three different rooftops <laughs> so it's like it's been very random but it's like it's like i have no reason to be ashamed of training so like it's actually ended up with people joining me training yeah so that's like, amazing yeah, so it's like, just because I took that step, like, fuck, that's not going to be an excuse why I don't train. Like, it's no excuses. So I just, like, people have instead, I got so much love back. This one guy that is working on this rooftop that I'm living in, he told me today, like, wow, he's like, when do you leave? And I was like, I leave in, like, a week or two. And he's like, I'm going to miss you a lot. Like, you give me good energy and la, la, la. And it's like, I, awesome. I haven't done anything. I've just been there training and then like, smiling and talking to him a little bit. He has, like, his broken English, like, it's been amazing. So yeah, no excuses, and that's my biggest win. That's awesome. I run a pro for that. That's how, that's the that's the full concept of leading by the front line in the flesh, right there. That's amazing, man. That makes me so happy. Thank you. Yeah. Natalia, Pia, you are the last one before we are um, going into answering all the question. We want to know your wins for this week, and it can be a small thing, it can be a big thing, it can be anything from. A dance that you've been doing, a training session that you've been having, one win from your week. One what? Win from this week. Um. Oh my god. Oh, no preparation. Probably, probably that I started to working out again because because of the work, because of my studies, I stopped working out fully. Like I had my daily 10 minutes apps every day uh -huh. for it, but because of the work and studies, I stopped doing anything. So I'm very happy that I have time and I'm motivated uh, with all of you guys. That's awesome. To actually like go back on a track. So no, that's a huge win. That's a huge win. Yeah. Congratulations, Shem. Round of applause for that. Round of applause for that. <laughs> You're muted again. And my win for this week before we kick off is definitely Biohacker Summit. I spent two days in Finland uh, nerding with fellow nerds, uh, listening to uh, neuroscientists talking about cognitive function, learning more in depth about uh, fasting, learning more in depth about training, and just how to the headline or the, the yeah, the headline of the whole summit was. Optimizing your day 24-7. So I've been extremely inspired and glad that I can join something like that and keep up with these nerds. It makes my level of nerdness go even higher. It's something I, I really enjoy doing. 
And with that being said, today we're going to have a massive Q&A about intermittent fasting and um, nutrition. You guys been posting your questions under or because of your questions in the group. I'm going to run over all of them. If you have any other questions coming up, feel free to post it here and I'm going to make sure to answer them also. And uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it because you all have been doing your homework. So I don't need to explain to you what's intermittent fasting because you already know because you saw the videos. Thumbs up if you hear me loud and clear. And let's jump right into it. All right, we start with question number one. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, here we go. It says one building muscle, 20, 45% protein, 25% fat, 30% uh, carbohydrates, or fat loss, 20% uh, protein, 75% fat. 5% carbohydrate. The question goes, to both lose some more kilos and build muscles, I choose the first one. The first one is 45% protein, 25% fat, 30% carbohydrates. Oh, yeah, exactly. Otherwise, I will lose my muscle uh, I'm building right now, right? That's the question. So the answer to this question is not necessarily not necessarily losing muscle while going on keto. So there is something called the ketogenic diet. When you're going on the ketogenic diet, which is one of the most, I've never seen anything like it. I never get the results like this myself. I've never seen any clients uh, doing, keto is the most, one of the most optimal ways for weight loss uh, or fat loss, I should say, because we're not going for, remember, there's a difference between weight loss and fat loss. We're going for fat loss. Keto means that your, your body is using ketones as a source of energy instead of having carbohydrates as a source of energy, which means that you are essentially cutting out almost all carbohydrates and adding extra fat. There is ways to keep your muscle mass while being on keto, but in the beginning, you are going to lose some muscle mass. This is gonna take a little time for your body to get used for being keto adapted. So you will lose some muscle mass in the beginning, but for the long term, you can absolutely build muscles while being on ketones. And while you are being on ketones, or you're using ketones as a source of or, or, or as a source of fuel, that means that you are your body is not using carbohydrates. That's on a traditional diet. You're using fat as a source of fuel. And that fat is gonna be transformed into ketones. That's called being keto adapted and that's what the whole ketogenic diet is about. Um, personally, I don't do it at the moment, but my body is still in a ketogenic state because I do keep my carbohydrates very low. And because of intermittent fasting, we are still using the same type of system. This doesn't make sense? Let me know. But that's the answer to that question. So not necessarily very good for weight loss but if you want to keep your muscles make sure to add few carbohydrates all right don't cut them completely the next question is i'm taking vegan bca tablets now for this november challenge the text says it takes two tablets before training and four directly after the work in the morning that works for me with the morning training but when i'm training just before a meal, I take all six tablets before training since I soon will eat a lot of protein. And I've been reading that you should never eat BCA together with a meal, only fasting stomach. What do you recommend? I say don't overthink it. I say don't overthink it. One of the things when it comes to nutrition is that we love to overthink things. We love to make it complicated. It's very simple. It's the total amount of calories that you're eating throughout a week that matters. It's the total amount of calories throughout a prolonged period of time that matters. Not if you're eating BCAA while fasting or while not fasting. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. Are you raising a hand, Melanie? Beautiful. Talk to me, champ. For people like us who have no clue, what is that? Okay. 
Good question. <laughs> Good question. BCAA stands for branched chain amino acid, which means that in a protein, this is a protein. In a protein, there are 12 essential amino acids. All right? There are 12 building blocks for this castle called protein. Now, the, the BCAA are seven of those. So they are already broken down proteins. All right? So when you're, when you're drinking that and consuming that, your body is just going to absorb that very much faster because your body doesn't need to break it down, digest it. It doesn't need to be digested in your liver and your stomach or your stomach sac. It just gets taken up straight away. All right? Made sense? Perfect. So it's a protein. You're still unmuted. Don't worry. Talk to me. Um, so is that necessary to take that? Or is that the thing that is mainly for like vegetarians or vegans it's who have not enough protein? Or nothing. Do you it? There is no supplements that are necessary if your diet is on point. Just putting that out there. It might, be, it might be a good thing for you to add if you are not reaching your macros, right? But if you're having a solid diet, you're following your macros, you do not need it, all right? Um, it's a, just like anything, it's a supplement. It's something that is supplementary, not necessary, all right? And um, my going back to the question, if you need to eat it, it's not dangerous to drink or eat BCAA while you are not fasted. It's not dangerous. It's nothing can happen to you unless you're having some crazy BCA that I never heard of. But I never seen or read any science saying that you cannot uh, drink it or eat it while uh, eating protein. I would be dead <laughs> in that case. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be here with you guys if, if, the, if it was dangerous. So, um, but when you're drinking, when you're investing in something called BCAA or EAA that stands for, these are supplements, branched chain amino acids or essential amino acids, all right? You want to have something that is high in leucine. That's what promotes muscle growth. That's the, stim that's the, that's the most important thing, all right? Um, everybody with me? I'm making sense so far? Thumbs up. If I'm not making sense, write it in the chat, put your hand up, raise your hand. I see you guys, I see all of you. So if I'm not making sense, I'm just gonna keep on moving forward. I'm a huge supporter of intermittent fasting, but I also like prolonged fasts. Prolong intermittent fasting is obviously everything from 12 to six hour eating window because it's intermittent, but I'm also a fan of doing uh, a longer fast while I'm fasting and not consuming any calories for over 24 hours or up to 24 hours, 24 hours and beyond. And one of the questions was, my question and curiosity about the 24 hours fast, um, will it promote muscle gain? Essentially, what is the purpose behind the four hour, 24 hour fast? I want all of us in this group to do it minimum, one time as a minimum i do this once a week personally i do it once a week but minimum one time together throughout these 30 days right i will give you a long heads up so we're gonna do it together it's not harmful it's not something that's gonna make you lose muscles a few of the pay attention right now pay attention to what i'm saying because these are just few of the benefits that comes from intermittent fasting and prolonged fast you get a healthier gut bacteria. It promotes something that's called HGH, which is human growth hormone. Research has shown showing that once you have been passing 24 hours, your human growth hormone, aka your testosterone, uh, goes up to increases up to 300%. 300%. That's a crazy. It's great for cancer prevention. If that's something that's inside of your family. It promotes longevity. So you're gonna live longer because you're going into something called autophagy, which means that your body is, the cells in your body are eating themselves and renewing themselves. You are the muscle growth because of the HDA, um, HDH, fat loss, lower cholesterol, improved metabolism, reduced risk of diabetes, and the list goes on and on. Let me know if you want to see the sources of this, and I would love 
to send it to all of you. I'm gonna keep on moving forward unless there's any questions. Here's another one. The next question is this. Are you raising, you're raising your hand? Anybody raising your hand? <laughs> Wait, no, go for it, I love it. This is, this is ex, ex, guys, never be scared about asking questions. This is the reason we're doing this on Zoom and not Facebook Live, all right? This is the exact reason why we are um, here. Talk to me. When we did the prolonged fasting the last time, one very important thing that's more psychological, it is amazing to appreciate food afterwards. If you haven't Facts. eaten for long, the first meal is oh, so Facts. good. <laughs> Facts. I don't, so people think that I don't like food. Like people think that I'm not a foodie because I'm doing intermittent fasting. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm a huge foodie. <laughs> I, do, I get to enjoy it even more. Like there's nothing like breaking your fast. So good point. Good point. Good point, good point. And let's not talk about the cognitive functions. Like for me, my most productive days are Mondays. Why? Because I don't eat. Like I can just all, so what's happening when you're not eating is that your body doesn't need to put energy or blood down to your stomach. So you can only all the energy in your entire body just focus on one thing so you can you get this single focus so if you're doing intermittent fasting you're just new to it try putting your most uh, your your hardest work in the morning or when you're fasting just trust me on this as soon as you get used to it you get so much more done next question we keep moving forward um it says, I'm a type of person who lose uh, um, kilos super fast. Therefore, I need to pay attention to eat properly. How to train to not lose weight, but still get strength and simply get muscle definitions. My, quick, my answer here is don't overdo cardio. Don't overdo steady state cardio, which is hard because we are dancers and it's essentially what we love doing, right? So if you're a person who are losing weight or losing, uh, yeah, losing body composition or body weight extremely fast, and you really want to do fasting, you need to have some carbohydrates. Don't go for the, for the formula of no carbohydrates. You need that, all right? And you might also need a longer eating window. You might also need a longer eating window, especially in the beginning, because your body is not used to the fasting. So if you're shocking your body, you, all of a sudden you're shrinking your eating window down, you, uh, you're taking away carbohydrates, you are going to lose um, um, body weight. It's just the way it is, right? However, heat training, correct heat training, high intensity interval training, which is what this whole, um, what this whole challenge is about, won't make you lose uh, um, muscle mass. You will lose fat, however. Right, which means that you will get more toned. I'm letting everybody know here that there is no term. Uh, I, we all understand what you mean when you say toned, but toned is just burning fat and building muscles. That's essentially what it is. Like you can't tone your muscle, like you can't like shape being more defined. You can't like define your muscle. What it is is that your body has been losing body uh, muscle. Uh, what it is, is that your body has been losing body fat and you've been gaining more muscle. Thumbs up if what I'm saying makes sense. Seeing all of you, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and count your macros. Count your macros. If you're new to intermittent fasting and you have a uh, a speedy metabolism. You're that type of person. Myself, for example, tall, skinny by nature. If that's you, count your macros. I cannot stretch the importance of this. If you are the opposite of me, maybe you're a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit wider by, by nature, cannot stretch the importance. Count your macros. If you do not do this, you are shooting in the dark. You are shooting in the dark, I'm letting you know. Just intermittent fasting alone is a good way of losing weight, if that's your goal. Without counting, without counting your macros, without counting your calories. But if you want, and you should be wanting this, you, you're here, you're sitting with me, where you're investing your time, make sure to count these macros. Right, moving on. 
This is a good one. I like this one. I have a question about working out and stretching intensely. For the next, for the last 30 day challenge, stretching is a uh, the third, sorry, the 30 day challenge is a great warm up for my stretching. But I have a theory, I've heard the theory um, that if I do, for example, an intensive leg slash butt workout and later when I do stretchly intensely, I do the two opposite things. Firstly, I contract my muscles and lately I stretch them, which goes in the none of the ways of obtaining neither muscle nor good for stretching. True or false? Mix. Mix. Half of what you said there is true. You are doing the two opposites. You are contracting your muscles, but you're also stretching them. But each time you're doing something, if I'm doing a contraction or a extension, or I'm doing a extension and contraction, so I'm always doing that. However, it is no way on planet Earth that it's bad for you to stretch after training. That's when you should be stretching. If you want to get a longer range of motion. So let's break this whole thing down. You will never see athlete losing muscles for stretching. It's not happening. Because you're putting stress on your muscles. But if you want to do, there's two types of stretching to start with. There's dynamic stretching, which might look like yoga for you. This is dynamic stretching. This doesn't look like yoga. That wasn't my point. <laughs> but my point is, is that I'm moving in and out of the move of the stretching. Right? I'm contracting, relaxing, contracting, relaxing, dynamic stretching. But there is also static. This is a static position. I'm just holding it, all right? S dynamic stretching is what you all did on day five, yesterday. You all did dynamic stretching. Static stretching is what you're doing after training. You are just lengthening out your muscles and holding it. That's gonna increase your range of motion, which means that you're gonna get more flexible, all right? Dynamic, I just gotta point that, throw that out there. Please, please do not, you can even use, use me, use me if you see dancers doing this. If, they're, if you're holding a stretch, any stretch, for longer than 20 seconds, you are going to perform worse if you're doing it before training. Do, or be, yeah, before performing, before training, before dancing. S Static stretching before training, before performance, decreases the performance up to 5%, which is absolutely ridiculous considering it's just stretching, right? If you're stretching, let me see if I have a rubber band here somewhere. Don't. All right. Rubber band. 